example, I have a cousin, right? He's about 16 now. And his parents, they named him Success. Like, that's his first name, right? And that's, that's a very on the nose name to have, isn't it? Success, right? And I feel bad for my cousin, because like I said, he, he's 16 now. And I've seen enough evidence to know that he's not going to live up to that name. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. <laughs> feel bad. That name is a burden for my cousin. So much so that I call him something a lot more realistic, right? I call my cousin Pharmacist, and I, I think that's a good name for him. Um, I call him that because he's a drug dealer now. So like for me, that makes, that makes more sense for him. It fits better. I feel bad though, man. It's my cousin. You know, I'm 26, he's 16. I, sh I should be his role model, shouldn't I? I should be trying to get him to turn his life around. And I, I want to do that, I really do. But um, I also want to keep buying my weed for this kind of prices. So it's tough to live with those those two sides. Um, I'm supporting this black business. I'm just doing my part. Calm down. That's how Jay-Z got started, you know? I love my cousin. He just, he just does stupid shit all the time. Gets on my nerves. Like, for example, my cousin, he failed his GCSEs, right? Like I said, he's a failure. So he failed his GCSEs. But listen, I, I weren't mad at him for failing his GCSEs. That can happen. I just didn't like his attitude afterwards. Like, cause you know what he did that pissed me off? He posted his failed grades on Instagram, right? With the caption, the haters are plotting my downfall. And... <laughs> I saw that caption and I was confused for, for multiple reasons as well. Um, one, for somebody to plot your downfall. <laughs> You need to be at the top of something in the first place. What the f <laughs> you can't fall from the bottom. You're already there. <laughs> Secondly, who are these haters? <laughs> AQA. I don't think so. I don't. <laughs> now listen, because I associate haters with things like rappers and gangsters. I don't think these exam boards are about that fuck life. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I never finished an exam in school and someone from AQA was collecting the papers afterwards like, A-Town up in this bitch, you know who it is? <laughs> F Excel, we don't like those guys over here, we don't like that. It's ridiculous, it was not my experience. I also feel like if exam boards are that gangster, you could tell straight away in the questions, couldn't you, man? Just imagine on exam day, you do your maths exam, you just open up your paper and you see question number one. Jamal has eight bullets. You be like, what the f what's going on? <laughs> All right. If he's doing a drive-by at 10 miles per hour, he'd be like, mm -hmm. how many bitch ass n****s can he hear? He'd be like, man, man, what's going on? <laughs> there was nothing to calculate in that question. There'll be a white kid at the back just sweating like, oh man, I didn't revise for this one. <laughs> you know, uh. <laughs> All right, bro, this feels like a trick question to know that they didn't prepare us for this. Just to be safe, I might in Black Lives Matter just to protect myself. <laughs> I'd rather fail to be cancelled. I don't want to be cancelled. Thank you for watching Solar Theatre on YouTube. Subscribe now for more best comedy.